Hey guys, welcome to my channel Linux King. My name is Salman Francis and I'm back with third part of our ethical hacking uh, course. Uh, today we are going to look at two things mainly. Number one is hacking stages and second is reconnaissance and footprinting. So without the further ado, let's start. So basically hacking stages consist of five, uh, you can say these are the five stages of hacking. Number one is reconnaissance and footprinting, which we are going to take a look at today. And please uh, do remember that we are not going to do any lab today. So lab will be in our uh, next video. Uh, so first thing we are going to uh, look is at reconnaissance and footprinting. Then comes the scanning part or the enumeration, like scanning and the enumeration. Third stage is gaining access. Then fourth stage is maintaining access and the last is clearing tracks. So what we do in these uh, stages. First thing is reconnaissance. Reconnaissance, uh, reconnaissance is the art of gathering information. Okay, and we'll take a look at reconnaissance today. So the more like uh, in this part, we get the maximum information uh, for our target, like in active and passive ways. Then comes the scanning in the scanning portion or the scanning uh, stage, uh, we do scanning of our target network, get the maximum information also uh, by directly interacting with the target, uh, scanning it with uh, different software and different tools. Then gaining access means once we have scanned our network, then we try to attack the network and we try to gain the access of this network or the system. Once we have the access of the system, we try to maintain the access with various uh, like tools or by uh, creating some backdoors and stuff like that. And then once we have this access or maintain the access, and now when our job is completed, we usually clear the tracks by removing the logs, event logs, or uh, history of the machine, and then we quit the system. So these are some uh, stages of hacking, and they are like, uh, I can see that my diagram is not very good, but this will explain to you actually uh, how the things work in the world of hacking. So reconnaissance, then scanning uh, slash enumeration, gaining access, maintaining access, and clearing the tracks. So these are the five stages. Okay, so today we are going to take a look at basic information about what is reconnaissance and footprinting. Okay, so reconnaissance and footprinting, the art of getting maximum information about the target is known as reconnaissance. Uh, reconnaissance and footprinting can be used interchangeably. Like you can use footprinting or reconnaissance. Basically, both are the same with footprinting uh, by this. Uh, basically, these are the first phases of an attack where the attacker gets as much information as possible. And once you have this information, you will keep this information safe for uh, further step. Okay, there are two methods or two types of reconnaissance. Uh, first is passive reconnaissance and second is, uh, second is active reconnaissance. So what do we mean by passive reconnaissance? In this type of uh, reconnaissance or footprinting, uh, the target like in this, we are getting the target information without any direct interaction. For example, like we are not going to uh, directly interact with the target or with any computer or, within, with, or with any network. Uh, what we will do in this type of attack is uh, we get the maximum information of any company using the tools which are freely available on the internet. For example, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, job boards, uh, Google Maps, web search, uh, website searches of that company or of the target, archive.org, uh, Shodan, Whois, Appnik, IPlocation.net, etc. So we will look at these tools uh, later when we will do our lab. So this is how um, passive reconnaissance is done and what kind of information we can get with this. Uh, the target information such as name of the company, employees, documents, technologies in use, website, location, etc. So this is passive reconnaissance. Then comes the active reconnaissance. 
In active reconnaissance, uh, reconnaissance, what we do is we get the direct inter interaction with the target. For example, we uh, do the port scanning, we use trace route, uh, we can use netcat, nmaps, and social engineering. So social engineering is also active reconnaissance because we are actively uh, like interact with the employee of that company or with the user over the telephone and stuff like that to gain the information. And port scanning is also kind of active reconnaissance because we are interacting directly with the target. So the port scanners come in active reconnaissance as well as in the scanning phase. Uh, what information we can get uh, from this type of uh, attack or active reconnaissance is that IP addresses, uh, location, an address, DNS information, who is information uh, about the company also, open ports, what kind of ports are open, passwords uh, with social engineering of course, like I can just call this guy and just make him my friend and I can ask him, okay, what kind of passwords uh, you guys are having? So maybe he will over a drink or something or over a good food, he can just leak his password. Uh, then what kind of operating system uh, the company is using or the person is using, what kind of network and network equipment uh, these guys are using. So this is the information what you can get from the active reconnaissance and passive reconnaissance. Okay, now about the countermeasures. The first and foremost step is to educate employees and users and explain them what kind of attacks they can expect, explain them what are active and passive reconnaissance and how a stranger can get their information. So just educate them, tell them not to give or not to leak any sensitive information if a stranger asks them not to give their passwords and company information. Uh, create strict rules for using social media from within the organization. That's very important because most of the people, they when they use uh, social media from their office, they can post like, uh, sensitive information, and then once it is posted, you guys have no control over it. Uh, limit posting information on the internet. Uh, again, uh, be very careful while what you are posting. Secure your servers as much as possible. Try not to leak a lot of information because uh, a lot of people can get sensitive information from your web servers, from your emails, and which we will see in our upcoming videos. Then you must create a security policy and this policy must indicate what kind of uh, sites user can access while working and if uh, there's a uh, like can they use Facebook or social media and what kind of uh, policies to follow and then use encryption wherever possible so that in case if the data is leaked it's in encrypted form and it's difficult for user. So this is some basic information, what is a reconnaissance and how uh, we can countermeasure the effects of such attack. So in our next video, we will take a look at you know, some tools used for reconnaissance and some practical lab.